Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do whatever I want and today we are going to be doing our last episode of our Nuzlocke. I cannot freaking believe it. I can't believe it. Oh my god, it's the last episode. We're going to find out if we actually are going to win our Nuzlocke or not. Um, Corneco, welcome in with the first today. I'm going to take that as a good luck charm. Back from your vacation and you got first, like on the first stream since then. <laughs> So I'm going to take that as a good sign. Um, also, we are going to play a little tribute video to the bros that we have lost along the way. Um, but before we do that, as we like to do, we're going to do a little personality quiz. Okay, we're going to do a little personality quiz, guys. So let me switch over so that you guys can see. Kay, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank you so much. Last Nuzlocke. So you know, we're excited. And here we go for the quiz. Thank you, Kendra. I like that energy. I like that energy. If we're going to die, at least we can have fun doing it. So the quiz that we have for today is what kind of book ending would, would I write for you? You're the main character. Let's find out if that's a good thing. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go. Um, pick a location to spend a sunny day, a wide meadow filled with flowers and a very excited dog. A clearing in a forest with a lake and a waterfall and a picnic. A public park with live music and free food and people that are genuinely nice to you. Ooh, I do like that free food. I like that. A beach shielded by mountains with white sand and palm trees and free drinks. Okay, I have to choose between free food and free drinks, y'all. I have to choose between free food and free drinks. This is too hard. This is too hard, Quizmaker. I think we're going to go with this music and free food or beach and free drinks. I think we're going to go with music and free food. Okay. That was really difficult. Which of these resonates best with you right now? Oh, it's a lyrics one. Okay. You listen and you know you could live a better life than you do be softer, kinder, and maybe this year you will be able to do it. I seen to myself as a dream, an accidental guest in a dreadful body. Oh, it's, this is, this one's a poem. I'm a lover without a lover. I'm lovely and lonely. I belong deeply to myself. Oh, the stream asked my favorite trope and then puts the best one ever on the list. Oh, I love that, Koneko. I love that. And in the end, isn't that what we all want? To not feel so split, to carry an image of ourselves inside ourselves and know exactly what we mean when I say I, 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 I. To love life, to love even when you have no stomach for it. The floor seemed wonderfully solid. It was comforting to know I had fallen and could fall no farther. Okay, these are all poetry. It's not music. Okay, they just looked like a lyric one. Anyway, we're going with this one. I like this. What trope do you think is and will always be superior in fiction? Found family is the best trope. Oh, that's a really good trope. That's a really good trope, Koneko. Good choice. Okay, we've got enemies to lovers, found family, fake dating, mistaken identity, and wrong side of the tracks. Um... I hear your found family, connect, like, I hear it, um, but we have to go enemies to lovers. I just, I, I can't, I can't explain myself. Enemies to lovers, that's what, that's the choice, that's the choice. Oh, you got the happy ending? Oh, congratulations, Kendra. Uh, pick one, random, yes or no, yes, yes, okay. You're sniffing around the room, you can take one thing home, what will it be? Poster with three frog illustration on it that says frog in big green letters. Half burned jasmine scented candle. A book explaining Greek mythology for dummies. A fluffy teddy bear. Um, we're taking the book. Yeah. How often do you listen to music? Every second of every day of my life. I think it's a genuine addiction, but it doesn't hurt anybody. So this was me when I was younger. Um, very often as I need background noise to function, a normal amount when sitting, working, or cleaning, rarely, but I appreciate it extra when I do. I think a normal amount, probably. I listen to a lot of podcasts, too, when I'm doing, like, other stuff. What's a trend you will probably never participate in? TikTok, Y2K fashion, reality shifting. <laughs> I can't believe this is a trend right now, but I'm sorry, my pal. I've been role-playing for a long time. I will never do this shifting thing. What is that? How do you think other people perceive you? I'm curious but reserved. Generally, generally relaxing to be around, maybe boring. I try my best, but am not great at decision-making. I'm a good friend when I'm in the right headspace. 
I'm always there to help and very dependable, maybe to a fault. I don't always know where I'm going. It might look like I don't care. I seem tired all the time. I know how people see me. It's this one. It's this one. <laughs> that's not, that's not a, that's not a mystery. Being ace, I must always choose found family over enemies to lovers, but enemies to lovers is good also. Yeah, I think we're like, I think we're like vibing just like the opposite on that one. You got open ending. Great. Now I'm getting called out for being unable to finish my fix. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny they call me out for not asking for help oh no what am i gonna get okay we got one more and how do you wish other people perceived you okay cool laid back funny gentle comforting honest intelligent genuinely nice open ambitious successful courageous i don't know i don't know i guess cool like i try really hard to be chill i hope people see that happy ending okay here we go. I kind of figured this one, Kendra, when you said it. So let's see what this one says. There's a lot you've had to struggle through. Sometimes it even felt like a constant stream of negativity and pain being swept up into a raging body of water. When you extend your arm to the people on the shore, they thought you were waving. You're such a good swimmer after all. No! And you're so nice. Even when coughing up salt water, you didn't lash out. You kept smiling and kept pulling others into the riverbank, kept handling, handing out pieces of advice and pieces of your heart doing your ultimate best. I wish you'd known that even anger is something to be expressed, that your hurt is something to be pronounced out loud, that your pain is something to be acknowledged and softened, that absolutely nothing about you, not your flailing arms, nor the saltwater tears, nor your buried anger is a mistake. Whoa, this was too deep. This was too deep. Okay, there's also bitter ending in the tide ending. I, w I wonder what the tide ending says. I can't really imagine that too much. You also got open ending. So we all got open ending and happy ending. Kitty! what Which ending did you get, Kitty? Did you do this one yet? Because I'm really curious about what bitter ending and... I, like, I don't understand this, the tide ending. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. It's setting a tone. You got this today. Thank you, Kitty. Thank you. Everything does feel like it's it's going right, so hopefully the uh, the game will too. But, all right, you guys. Before we get started on our Nuzlocke, I have something that I made for you. I made for all of us. I made for the bros that we lost. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because I want us to all focus on this little tribute video and really, like, absorb it and take it in and really feel it. Um, no sound during it, so my microphone will be off. Sound alerts will not work. Text-to-speech will not work, so don't spend your points on any of the sound stuff because it's not going to work during the video. Okay, so save all of your TTS urges, save all of your sound alert urges if you have them until after the video, and then you can play those. Okay, so I hope you guys are ready. We are going to pay tribute to all of the bros that helped us get here.
right, you guys. So I just wanted to take a moment to remember everybody that we lost, mostly to Sabrina, but a few other instances as well. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> reliving a moment how frustrated I was during that Sabrina fight was, uh, was very eye-opening. Hopefully we will have great success tonight. Um, and I see all y'all's comments. Thank you so much for enjoying that with me. All right. Let me get the game going. Y'all hear it? Okay. We are hopefully not going to lose anyone tonight, but I did make preparations. I did make preparations. So I leveled everybody up. You can see oh, they are all level 60 now. Um, all of the like carbos, HP ups, things like that that I had in my inventory, I used them. I didn't buy any more of those, but I did do some shopping to make sure like everything in my PC was leveled up. So like, um, I think I got a water stone for the star me to make it a star you or something like that. Anyway, I did a few of those things. Um, so we have backup Pokemon, but uh, I think uh, we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. We're as ready as we're ever gonna be. <laughs> oh, Landon, hey! Thank you so much. I'm so sorry for killing Pokemon version of Landon. Um, but if it weren't for if it weren't for your Pokemon, we would not be here today. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in. I'll show you guys all the items I bought. See, I got I got a ton of hyper potions. I got a ton of full restores, full heals, and I sold everything else. Like I sold everything that I that's not gonna get used. So it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> star you to star me I said it backwards I guess <laughs> okay all right you guys I'm very nervous I'm very nervous that I'm just gonna kill all my friends but we've got um we've got Voltorb in front we've got Voltorb in front and um we're gonna get do Lorelei first so here we go let's actually put no, Sonic Boom can stay there. Let's actually swap this. There we go. Oh, before I forget, what are you forgetting, Koneko? Tell me, tell me. Tell me! <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright. Are we ready? I'm ready. <gasps> you want a command! Okay. We will make exclamation Koneko, but um, tss. we will we will get on that. It'll be up um by next stream. Okay, here we go. Door closed behind us. <sighs> Welcome to the Pokemon League. I'm Lorelei of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. Are you ready? Mm, so nervous. <laughs> so nervous. Yes, Elite Four would like to battle. Okay. And I'm quite high compared to her, so... Like, I shouldn't have too many problems, but we will find out. Oh, Hale, that's not fun. That's not fun. I don't like that she got to set up with the hail. Like, I'm so nervous. I can't believe, like, my stomach actually hurts and I'm actually like... <sighs> In hindsight, there would never have been a more perfect time for the evil Agent Smith laugh than the end of that memoriam video. Well, you know what, Kitty? You were so overcome, you just couldn't do it. You just couldn't do it because you were so overcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you can do maybe an evil laugh um, as like me laughing evilly if I beat Lorelei and everything is going well. I was too full of feelings to think on it. Yeah, yeah, it made me full of feelings too. It made me full of feelings too. It made me full of feelings making it, it made me full of feelings watching it with you guys. It was just like so many things, so many things happened. Uh, nope, we're just gonna keep sparking. And hopefully, I've got everybody, like, where they need to be, high enough level and everything that we're gonna do this, and it's not gonna be a problem, but considering we've come so far, 
<laughs> Considering we've come so far, um, to fail now, like, it's really nerve-wracking. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I I'm, I'm prepared, you know? I'm as prepared as, as I'll ever be, but that doesn't change that, like... I'm surprised that we ever we even got past Sabrina, so I just didn't expect to make it here. Mm, yeah, we don't need to use a spark. We can just use a swift. Oh, except that she's going to use a full restore. What a fucking bitch. <sighs> Para hacks in our favor. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, at least the hail stopped. That's good. Happy about that. Wow, Surf still does a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit. Surf's a good move, though. Surf's a good move. I know this. I have it on my Lapras. Alright. Oh, now she's about to use Lapras. She might heal, but that's okay. Get the heals out early. That's true. That's true. She's still got Lapras and a Jinx left. Well, she did heal. No, she used a potion. Um, will Karen change Pokemon? Yeah, I think Lord Oreo is too low. So for Lapras, I think we're going to go with Lishy. <clears throat> since he has such high defense. And we'll just strength. Oh, don't, you, don't confuse me, stupid. Come on, Lishy, don't be confused. No, 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 no. Damn it. Let's try one more time. Oh, and now paralyzed. Paralyzed and confused. This is fucking wonderful. What's Surf gonna do to Lishy? Oh, not 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 much, not much. Okay, that's good. Okay, don't you paralyze me again? Oh, unfortunately, Lapras is really bulky too. Okay, let's do this. Um, let's hyper potion Lord Oreo. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Um. Yeah, well, Hyper Potion. Lishy. to use that one. I meant to use the one that just did the status conditions, but whatever. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. I know it takes two turns to make it happen, but... There we go. There we go. I just needed to hyper beam at Koneko. I thought about that, but then I was like, no, we're gonna hyper beam. Okay, here's Jinx. Lishy fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Hyper beam kinda cheatery, you know. Let's see, what do I what have I got? I've got rest, I've got yawn. Okay, so I need to wake him up. Find out how much Ice Punch does. Probably not much since it's physical. Yeah. Alright, and we're going to Strength. 
Oh my god. It keeps out speeding me. I wish I had a fire Pokemon. I wish Haley was here with us. But she's not. Stop using fucking lovely kiss. I'm gonna have to put in something faster. Let's see. Who we got? I'm looking at my notes for my strategy. Maybe Gengar would be good? Yeah, maybe Gengar? Let's try Gengar. Oh, shit. Don't you crit me again. Okay, that's how much it normally does. All right, Shadow Punch or Shadow Ball? can't remember for Jinx if it's lower on the defense or the special defense. Shadow Punch. There we go. That's right. One down. One down. Yep, okay. Let's heal everybody up. That wasn't too bad. It could have been worse, right? Next up is Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. All right, where's my Quick Claw? Is that my Quick Claw? No, that's an amulet coin. What's that? Okay, yeah, I gave the Quick Claw to Lord Oreo because he was going first. All right, let's give the Quick Claw to Caroline. go. Okay, I'm gonna save state, just because it makes me feel better. Alright. Second one. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through regular training, people in Pokemon can become stronger and without limit. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Karen, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hua! If you say so, Bruno. If you say so. Now, you should start with Onyx, which is why I put Lapras in front. Yeah. Super effective. Okay, and everything else he has is fighting type, so we're gonna bring out Moisty. Yes. That's right, Kitty. It's it's never a bad idea to save, or it's very rarely a bad idea to save, right? Okay. Um, let's see. So we are gonna wing attack. Oh, he has one other Onyx. I just remembered. Oh no.
Moisty Speed fell. Okay, that's not good. Let's do Fly. Bitch! Why are you full restore? Man, it's like almost killing him and then not quite. Oh no, don't counter. Oh no! <sighs> Fuck. Okay, come on, Badger. Fuck, we lost Moisty. I'm sorry, Moisty, I'm sorry. that hit Monchan had died in one hit, but it didn't. It just barely survived each time. Yes, let's go back to Caroline. <sighs> so sad I lost Moisty, so sad. When it's like, when it's like got a friend's name, it's sadder, you know what I mean? I was going to use the Moisty later, too. I hope not, you guys. I hope not. go. Two down. Well, you got one of mine, Bruno, so not happy about that. All right. Let's move Hypno down. Or sorry, let's move Moisty down to the bottom. Everybody's health looks good. No status effects, so I think I should be okay. Oh no, let's check Hypno's PP on their psychic. Is that 5 out of 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, we might Oko all the next ones, but I don't know if I want to risk it. Let's see. I've only got one elixir. Collective moves PP of all moves by 10. I guess we'll use... Feels risky to use those. Yeah, I think I'll wait. I think I'll wait. But we're gonna save state again. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. All right, next one. Did I put the quick claw on Badger? I did not. I'm Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Karen, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. <sighs> okay, Agatha. Show me. Show me. Hopefully Hypno can just sweep all of her guys. Oh, 
Oh, but she's gonna start out with a confused. That's just fucking lovely. Come on, Badger. Come on, Badger. Yes. The Agatha Lottery. <laughs> uh, no. All right, so let's get him unconfused. Oh, another fucking confused. This woman, I swear, she should be illegal. Come on, Badger, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it, girl. Yes. Nope, let's keep doing this. Like that. Lower in my defense. All right, Arbok down. <sighs> okay, here's her note. Other Gengar. Nope. so mad I'm so mad I can't believe she got badger okay come here Lishy oh that's right because Lishy's fucking ghost and that's a normal type one too all right let's see what can we do Caroline's bulky. Let's send Caroline out. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you. <laughs> Store. You would. All right, then she got her haunter. Nope, we're just going to try to serve him, too. I mean, we got the Gengar down, so the Haunter should be less of an issue. Should be, and then it uses... It uses Hypnosis. So that's great. Okay. Yep, that's not going to work. <laughs> Exactly, Koneko, unless it does that. Oh, good, it missed that time. Stop full restoring, Agatha, my god. Just let me kill your haunter. Come on, Caroline, you can do it. Almost. Okay, I'm not- I can't escape anyway. That's a weird move to use. 
There we go. <sighs> All right. You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. All right. So here's the problem. Here's the problem. <laughs> we lost two really good Pokemon. And I'm a little unsure what we're going to do now. Um, yeah. No, I went to give. All right, let's heal up. Let's heal that one little HP on Teeth Fuzz. All right, so the next is Lance. And here's the problem is I'm not sure how I want to handle his Dragonairs. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Let's see, how is Caroline on surfs? Like, I really don't, I feel like I really don't have, like, a good way of handling those Dragonairs. Okay, we're gonna start with Voltorb for the Gyarados that he has. I think we can do this. We still have Caroline Ice is super effective on Dragon. Okay. So I'll use Lapras then for the Dragonairs and the Dragonite. So I guess we'll do this one with Voltorb and, and Caroline. Alright, here we go. Last Elite Four. Ah, I've heard about you, Karen. I lead the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know the dragons are mythical Pokemon. They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Karen. It doesn't really, because we have the rival, but... <laughs> We've got two more battles. Thank you for believing in me, Koneko. I tried to believe in myself. Oof, that was good. That health bar, like, went really slow, I felt like. Yes, okay, so we switch to Caroline and we'll ice. Ice, ice, baby. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding. Okay, okay. That was a, that was good. That was a good thought, Koneko. Okay, here we go. Be careful, they might be fast. Yeah, that's why I put the quick claw on the on Caroline. Um, so hopefully that will help with the speed issue. And hopefully Dragonair is doesn't like <laughs> so fast that it outdoes my quick claw. Oh, paralyzed. That's good. Oh no, ancient power. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay. To level up for Oreo. Uh, yes, we'll go back to Caroline. Ancient powers rock, not super effective against electric. Thank you. I'm just, I, if I'm not like familiar with a move, it's like making me super nervous right now. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see, but I'm actually like 
a little bit I'm a little bit shaky like my legs are a little bit shaky under the desk <laughs> I just don't after we've come so far I want to win you know what I mean like how aesthetically pleasing Lapras and Dragonair on the background are oh that's true that's true they really are okay okay that was good Whew. okay I hate to admit it but you're a Pokemon master all right, we have one more battle. We have one more battle to win the Nuzlocke, you guys. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Karen. You are now the Pokemon League champion, or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. His name is Booty. He beat the Elite Four before you. He's the real Pokemon League champion. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's get healed up. Okay, so I want to... I definitely want to lead with Voltorb. With Lord Oria for the... For the... His bird, since he always starts with that. I was gonna use Moisty on the Executor, but obviously that's not gonna happen now. I'm thinking I should keep the Quick Claw on Caroline. Since I'm definitely gonna use Caroline against Charizard, I'm gonna just try to, like, surf. Like, surf really fast. To beat the Charizard. So I think I want that instead of putting it on Lishy. Okay, you guys. Let's save state. And let's go. Time to rock some booty. Caroline versus Executor Ice Beam. That's true. That's true. We can definitely do that. So he won't be a problem. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Hey, Karen. I was looking forward to seeing you, Karen. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Karen, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trainer in the world. <sighs> well, we'll see about that. We'll see about that, booty. <sighs> trying to psych myself up. <laughs> Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, <sighs> spark. Good start, good start, good start. Ride on, yes. Sweet Caroline, come on in. You're my man. You got this. Sweet Caroline. Yes, okay. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Okay, Executor. No, we're gonna Ice Beam his ass. Okay. Oh, you didn't Oko. Mm -mm. Don't be rude, Executor. I knew it. I knew he was going to heal that Executor. Alright, get a crit, Caroline. Get a crit. There we go. That's what we like to see. Okay, Alakazam. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Lishy? At least he didn't barrage. True. <laughs> oh my god, true kind of echo. <gasps> Alright. Come on, Lishy. You're the one that can withstand this shit. You're the one that can withstand this shit. Oh, 
almost got him. Almost. Let's see how much psychic does to Lishy. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I know, I know you gotta recharge your, my friend. Alakazam scares me too after Sabrina. Whew, okay, okay, we got past Alakazam. Okay, um, yes, 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 yes. Come here, Oreo. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, let's go. Okay. Mm. Come on, it's not very effective, so there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, full restore again. Stupid. Booty, you should not be allowed to do that. Damn. Oh, but he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Oh my god, stop full restoring him, booty. Stop! How many full restores does he have? Does this game give him infinite full restores? Nope. Nope, he's not in a loop. <sighs> Good. Thank God. Okay. Gyarados down. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, Caroline. You got this. You got this, Git. You got this. You got this. You got this, boy. Okay. We're gonna surf. We're gonna surf. We're gonna go first and we're gonna win. Nope. Apparently we're not. He's gonna go first, even though I got Quick Claw. Super effective. Okay. <sighs> I'm scared of how much that, that one thing took off, though. If he outspeeds me again, Caroline's going down. Do I heal or do I surf? I have the quick claw, but I don't think it's enough. <sighs> okay. Okay, I trust you, Koneko. We're gonna surf. Don't you crit. Don't you crit. <gasps> it didn't crit. Okay. <laughs> we won, you guys. Just, I'm just like basking. I'm just like basking in the music. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the league champion, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Karen got money, polka dollars. Why, why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it, you're the new Pokemon League champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Karen. Thank you, Koneko. Thank you. You were right. You were right. I mean, I had to listen to the awful beep 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 beep, you know, of the low health, but but Caroline didn't die. That's important. So you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. Karen, you have come of age. Booty, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you'd already lost. Booty, do you understand why you lost? You've forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. Karen, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Karen, come with me. K 
Kitty, I don't know why that applause didn't work. I'll, I'll make sure that it plays after we finish talking to these people. Ahem, congratulations, Karen. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Karen, you have worked hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Karen. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Okay, let me see if I can get that applause to play. That's not the real time, by the way. <laughs> because I've got an emulator, most of the time I was grinding is not actually included in the time, but that's the time for the most part that we spent actually streaming. Yay! You guys, we won! Oh, bye, booty. Bye, Oak. Credits. Credits. I can't believe we did it, you guys. I can't believe the beginning of the Elite Four was harder than the ending. Really, Agatha is the one that upset me a lot. Agatha and Bruno were the most annoying. But our rival was actually kind of a pushover. I guess that's what he gets for not loving and trusting his Pokemon. Thank you, Kitty, thank you. I was able to do it because of you guys. Seriously, because I've tried to do Nuzlocks on my own, and without streaming them, I, uh, I couldn't do it. <laughs> But when I was streaming and I had, like, all of your, you know, expectations to live up to, then we did it. Nine salutes for the nine we lost. Thank you, Koneko. I agree. We'll do, like, here, we'll give them a rest in power, too. Nine. There we go. The nine. <laughs> no, wait, was it nine? Yeah, no, you're right. It was nine. Four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, yes. I couldn't count for a second. Ken Sugimori, the designer. Very important part of Pokemon, having good designs. All the places we've been. And there's Booty, taunting me. This franchise is so big, I always forget it's Nintendo and not its own thing. Yeah, well, it's Game Freak, right? But um, basically Nintendo. But Game Freak really only exists because of Pokemon. I mean, they have had some other games that they've made, but not really. It really, I mean, Game Freak might as well be like the Pokemon studio. Thank you so much for this follow, um, Hoof Hearted on me. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. This was my first ever Nuzlocke, you guys, by the way. 
I really enjoyed it. I'm really, really glad that we did this. Never finished a Nuzlocke before. And I knew this was the right game to choose because this is the one I knew the most about, but it went really well. I'm very happy with it. Very happy with how it turned out. <clears throat> I don't know if I do as well in another Pokemon game because although I know them, I don't know them as well as this one. The end. The end, you guys. Wow. Of course, Koneko, thank you for coming along with me on this. Okay, the end. <sighs> and we go back to the beginning. We'll watch the opening again. The Gengar and the Nidorino. I love that original opening. See that? Wow. Karen saved the game at this location, Pallet Town. All right. Ah, Karen, you're back, are you? How much have you filled your Pokedex? May I see it? Let's see. You've caught 75. Now this is impressive. There's something I wanted to ask of you, Karen. Come, follow me. Recently, there have been sightings of many rare Pokemon species. I'm talking about Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see these things for myself, but I'm much too old. Since I can't do it, Karen, I'd like you to go in my place. Hey, I heard that. Gramps, what's with the favoring Karen over me all the time? I went and collected more Pokemon and faster, too. You should just let me handle everything. I know, I know. Of course I need your help, too. Now I need to see both your Pokedexes. Professor Oak took both Pokedex units. And that's done. Now these units can record data on a lot more Pokemon. Karen's Pokedex was upgraded. Now, Karen and Booty, this time you really must work towards filling your Pokedexes. I urge you to make them the best and most complete of all time. Truly, this is a monumentally great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gramps, calm down. Don't get so excited. I'll get the Pokedex completed. Don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll try looking around one island first. Anyway, I'm out of here. All right. And with that, we are officially in the Pokemon post game. Um, but I feel like when it comes to the Pokemon post game, it really is just going around and catching Pokemon. There really isn't any more story in this game. Like the only things that, are, that I really could even show you is like, where you can go um, on one island. I'm pretty sure it's one island, or maybe two island. No, I think it's one island. And where like, Moltres has moved to in this game, as opposed to where he was in Red and Blue. And then, of course, there's always like Cerulean Cave to go get Mewtwo. Um, but there's really no more story. There's no more game. There's no more to really unlock. You just fill up the Pokedex. That's kind of it. So I'm going to go ahead and save. For a final time, yes. <laughs> I told I told my husband while we were watching the credits that I won the Nuzlocke because I thought I wasn't gonna win, and he sends me back this. It says. But remember, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> and he said yay and stuff too. But uh, it's funny. Oh, it didn't go through. I'm trying to send, send him a ha ha. There we go. All right. All right, you guys, let's talk a little bit. And let's close this game. Okay. Wow. We finished our Nuzlocke. So that means a couple of things. One. We're going to have to add another gift to our list of gifts since we have a completed uh, game. So we already have a little Eevee gif. Which Pokemon should we add a gif of? I definitely feel like it should be one of our fallen bros. But, um, but which one? 
which of our fallen bros do you guys think we should add a gift to for our list? Oh, and I know another thing we can do. Let's go ahead and add in Koneko's um, Yeah, let's add in Koneko's one. You want Landon? So we want to, do we want to do the Bulbasaur or Ivysaur? She never made it to Venusaur, unfortunately, before she died. But should we do Bulbasaur or Ivysaur? I'm adding in Koneko's command now. Koneko, activate. Okay, let me make sure I did this all correctly. Secret, okay, yes, it has Koneko there now. There we go. Now we've got a but um tss. Okay. Ivysaur, Ivysaur seems more Landon like somehow. It kind of does to me too. Okay, I like that. So let's see. Ivysaur GIF. Let's see if someone, if there's a good animation GIF of Ivysaur and we'll, we'll add her in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that one's cute. That one's cute. Let's see. But it's too small, I think. Is there like a website that has all the Pokemon gifts? Let's see. Pokemon gifts. I can see that being fun. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, that doesn't pull up what I want it to. Let's see what Bulbapedia has if I just go and look at Bulbasaur. <laughs> I love that little cats. I love that little cats. Ivysaur. <laughs> all right. Let's go look at all of the Ivysaur images. Okay, they do have some good animated ones. All right, here, I'll share my screen with you guys. Okay, so they've got, so I'm thinking like this little guy right here. He looks pretty good. He's like getting ready for battle and then his flower goes. <laughs> so I'm thinking him. Yeah, some of these others don't look right or they're just too small. Let's see. Three! That's right. Snacks and finger snaps. Okay. We're going to save this. I'll just put it on my desktop. And I'll show you guys how I do these. It's in Trigger Fire. So, um, all the gifts are in here, and I set them up in here. So I don't remember what all it shows past this point, so I'm going to click away because I don't want it to show something that's, like, secret to my channel. But that's how I add all the gifts. So let's add in a, um... Let's add in an Ivysaur. <laughs> Kay would not choose hers. Like she, she redeemed that and then wouldn't tell me what she wanted. So I made it for her and I made it yes, daddy. <laughs> All right, we're going to upload... All right, I think that's how I'm supposed to set it up. Let me look at my others and make sure that I did this the same. Oh, I know, because we put GIF in front of them. So you know what? We're gonna call it GIF Landon. 
and we'll know what that means. Okay, now I need to go into the channel points. Oof, that is so bright. That is so bright. It default picked red for this. Let me go find my better color, my pink color. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. I just use the same colors as we use for the roles inside of uh, the Discord server. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if she works. I don't see it. I don't see it. What did I do wrong? Okay. Okay, save. Hmm, why aren't you working? Why aren't you working, GIF Landon? Now I don't see it listed. Okay. Oh, no, there it is. There's GIF Landon. Maybe I need to mark the skip reward queue. I wonder if the trigger fire things just don't work right away. Okay, select image, da 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 da. GIF Landon. I swear I've set it up exactly like I set up all the other ones. Why is this not working? Okay, let's test something. Kitty, don't waste your points. I don't, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> and I'm having it skip Q, so it's not going to refund them. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working. Maybe it's like, maybe like trigger fire, like doesn't, won't load when I'm online already. Like it can't, it can't push its stuff out into Twitch or something. And so it can't do it yet. Well, it'll be there next time. It'll be there next time then. I know I've set it up the same way I've set up all these others, so there's no reason it wouldn't work. So we'll just have to have it let next time. Yeah. <laughs> I hope that sometimes too. I hope that sometimes too. Yeah, like it might just be something where like trigger fire can't like push it into Twitch um, while I'm still in the middle of streaming. So we'll have that for next time. Okay, guys. So let's talk. We finished this. We finished this, which means that next Thursday, we are going to be doing Smash or Pass on the first generation of Pokemon. The first 150 Pokemon, we're going to try to get through as many as we can in that first generation. We're going to play some Smash or Pass. That also means that we don't have a main game for artistic license anymore. Now, one thing I definitely want to do is I want to go back and do a couple of episodes in a row of Final Fantasy X. But after that, I'm not sure what I want to do. But I have a lot of ideas, so I'm really curious what you guys think. So we could do 
Um, another Nuzlocke, if you guys really liked that, we could Nuzlocke the next generation, like I could do a Soul Silver Nuzlocke or something like that. Now, I don't know Soul Silver or, or any of the other Pokemon games nearly as well as I know this uh, first generation, just because I've played it so much. They've made so many remakes, and so that's made me play it over and over, etc. You get the idea. So, um, I don't know if I'll really know as much about about it or like how to beat it i might like actually have to research a lot more and practice and things like that so but that's an option if you'll enjoy the nuzlocke another option is i like puzzle games you guys know that we could do a puzzle game we played mist we could play um riven as the second this is sequel to mist it is still very like world and story rich the way mist was but it's quite a bit harder but i wouldn't make it like um torturous on you guys i would i would practice and make sure that i understand at least the basics of the puzzle so I'm not spending a huge amount of time on stream just walking around in circles. I remember when I first played that game. I didn't I didn't ever beat Riven when I first played it because I just spent so much time walking around in circles. Now granted I was a kid and but that game was also very, 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 very difficult. But I'm an adult now with the internet as my resource and time to practice and stuff for you guys. So that's another option. If you want another like puzzle game, we could do that. Um, and then another option would be if we want to do another role-playing game. So if you really liked my Final Fantasy X playthrough, we could maybe play through like Final Fantasy XII or Chrono Trigger. Those are two that come to mind um, or some other role-playing game. There's a couple of those that I know pretty well. Riven, Riven would be fun. I really enjoyed watching Mist. Okay, we could do Riven. I could definitely add in Riven. It would probably be another one that's like not that many episodes. It, it's longer than Mist. So maybe like three or four episodes. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but we could basically just play it until we beat it kind of thing for Riven. That might be a good main game. But that's kind of like the thoughts that I have, because there's really like those kind of main games that I play. And the only other really thought I had is if you guys really enjoy Sims 2, um, I'm going to do an episode, not next week, but the week after going back and doing that Pleasant View playthrough that I started forever ago. Um, if y'all really enjoy Sims 2, we could kind of keep up with the Pleasant View playthrough that I started and actually do like, you know, multiple episodes of that. So that could potentially be something as well that we could do. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll put I'll put Riven on next for you, Kaneko, and then we'll kind of go from there and decide from there. And Riven's not too long, so it's not like, you know, we could play Riven and then we could play some... It, it shouldn't take longer than a month, maybe a little, little bit longer than a month. Not too much, though. Um, I, I see, like, four or five episodes max for Riven, because I know it's longer than Mist, but it's not that much longer. We can be Mist in about two episodes worth of content. All right, you guys. I know it's early. I know it's early, but... Man, we beat the Elite Four... Um, I think it's time to end stream. I like all the options, so I'm not helpful. <laughs> well, Kitty, the good news for you is, um, as long as I keep streaming, we will eventually get to all of those things that I listed. So, <laughs> uh, we will eventually get to those things. Cause like, if it's a game that, that I, that I like and that I know enough about that I feel like I can make it entertaining on stream, then it's on the list uh, to eventually play. You know what I mean? Um, okay. All right. Hey, thank you so much for follow following Spartacris. Spartacris. That's a fun name. Spartacris. Spartacris. <laughs> that's clever. It's kind of punny. It's cute. I like it. All right, you guys. So I know that it's early to end stream, but I am going to be really busy this weekend, so I think we're going to go ahead and uh, and raid out and end the stream for today um, so that I can kind of get ready for that. So what that means is that there is no stream on Saturday, okay? No Saturday stream. I'm not going to be available to stream. I won't have time, so we're not going to do that. Um, but we are going to come back next week, smash and pass on the Gen 1 Pokemon. I know I'm late to the meme, but who cares? Better late than never, right? And we love smash or pass on here. So we're going to do that with the Gen 1 Pokemon. Um, and, uh, and yeah, so that'll be the next time that I see you. Husband got really excited about Final Fantasy XII being mentioned. It's his favorite one. I understand. So basically, Kitty, this is what Final Fantasy XII is, if you're not familiar. It's like the Final Fantasy team said, we want to make our own Star Wars with Gambits and Viera. It's like that. It's, it's Star Wars, but it's like Final Fantasy. It's good. It's good. Um, 
I got really frustrated with the license system when I when it first came out and I played it. Um, but in the Zodiac Age one, it works a little bit differently or differently enough that I don't hate it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll eventually play that. All right, you guys, let's raid. Let's go. We're going to raid today into Madam MG. We've not raided her in a while and she is playing Don't Starve Together. And I know we were supposed to do a Don't Starve Together recently and it didn't work out for us, but she's playing it. I don't know if she's actually got any friends on there. It looks like she might be by herself. I'm not 100% sure, or she might be playing with um with Tough Cookie. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to go right into her so y'all can watch some Don't Starve Together since we didn't get to do that on my channel the other day when we meant to. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Okay, raid is created. Fabulous. All right, y'all know how I do. Here's all the places you can find me. Um, you can follow my YouTube. I make sure all of my VODs go up on there. My main social media is Twitter. You can join my Discord. Discord is the best way to get notifications for me. And Twitter is the best way to find out what's happening. If anything's ever delayed or canceled or things like that or changed, Twitter is where I post it. So those are the two places you want to be if you always want to be in the know about what I am doing. You can support me in all of the normal ways. I do things just like every other content creator, you know, um, subscribe to the Twitch bits. I've got a tip jar down there if you prefer to do that. Whatever strikes your fancy, you guys know how this all works. All right, here we go. We're going to raid out to Madam MG. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.